Hi, welcome back to MRTV. Could the Apple Vision Pro together with your RDX 4090 actually be your next high-end PC VR headset for Microsoft Flight Simulator or other flight sims? That is exactly what I'm going to answer in this video. Yeah, welcome back. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you're excited about VR, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. With this out of the way, let's talk about it. So I did try the Apple Vision Pro in Microsoft Flight Simulator before, but at that time I only did it on a laptop, a 3090 laptop, so that was not comparable. Now here I'm on my 4090 Beast PC, and I must tell you I'm shocked about how good this is. It's crazy, it is so good, and ALVR, the app that I'm using to stream this into the Apple Vision Pro, is way better than I thought. I'm getting close to that 4K resolution per eye together with these amazing OLED colors and it is, oh, wow, a so, so good experience. I was so surprised here. Yeah, so you're probably wondering what will be your next VR headset for Microsoft Flight Simulator for your simming hobby. So basically right now you do have a couple of options. There is the Pimax Crystal Elite, of course, under $1,000, fantastic visuals, a bit bulky though, and yeah, you don't get OLED blacks. Then there's the Big Screen Beyond, perfect form factor, of course, micro OLED, fantastic blacks, but visuals are not perfect because of the lens, right? No good edge stretch clarity and some color shifts there. Then there's the XR4, the Vario XR4, very expensive device around $4,000 and you're getting a super high resolution like 4K per eye, even a bit more than the Apple Vision Pro, but you have a very bad binocular overlap. Oh no, <laughs> and some other problems. The, the device does not feel ready yet. And then there's also the Somnium VR1, another high-end PC VR headset that unfortunately I could not test yet. So overall, the Crystal is a fantastic option. I really love it and it doesn't break the bank. Right under $1,000 you get the most bang for your buck and in general, I would suggest you to get that. You know that from my reviews and from my recent videos. But probably you want that super, super high end. And honestly speaking, I really, really love the micro OLED of the big screen beyond. It is just perfect color wise. It's better than the Crystal. It's better than the XR4, right? If it was just not for that um, yeah, FOV, which is a bit on the lower end and also the edge stretch clarity. This here, the Apple Vision Pro, truly is another solution that is now viable that I see it in the 4090. It is so good in terms of colors. Yeah, of course, it's also a micro OLED panel. So perfect blacks, stunning, vibrant colors, exactly what you want. And the Apple Vision Pro also solves the big screen beyond's lens problem because these lenses here are just so much better than those of the Big Screen Beyond. You have a very nice edge-to-edge -edge clarity and also you have a bigger FOV. Yes, not out of the box, but you can easily mod the headset. So simply not wearing the cushion, for example, and instead like I'm getting closer to the lenses and wearing a little bit of a different head strap. Okay, not in this video, but well, I have those other options. And then your FOV is just so nice. And it is bigger than the FOV of most other standard headsets. Yeah, also getting over that uh, 102 or 104 degrees FOV. So you're getting a very nice FOV with that. You're getting beautiful blacks. You have that extremely high re resolution, right? 4K per eye. It's just like that incredible resolution where you will see absolutely nothing in terms of screen door effect. And I was just shocked again that with a 4090 and ALVR, you can actually reach these um, resolutions even when streaming. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you my exact ALVR um, settings so you can reproduce it on your 4090 machine 
and on your Wi-Fi 6 router. So yeah, wow, it's just so stunning. This looked so good in the Apple Vision Pro via streaming, via wireless streaming using ALVR, which is a free solution that you can download right now. And I am going to leave the, the, the links to ALVR in the description of this video. Yeah, so that was truly, truly an exceptional experience that I had here with the Apple Vision Pro. And it is now a viable PC VR headset thanks to ALVR, especially for people who want to do flight simming, who don't need controllers. You know, so of course, if you want to play something like Half-Life Alex, that will be a bit of a problem, right, without controllers. But actually, you can also use Valve Index controllers with some little tricks, right? But uh, yeah, that's not what this video is about. This video is all about the visuals in Microsoft Flight Simulator with the Apple Vision Pro and a 4090 Beast PC that you, of course, have as a high-end flight simmer. So again, why is this so good? Again, it's the colors, it's the resolution, it's the FOV. So is this better in terms of colors than the Crystal and then the XR4 and most probably also the Somnium, right? Because it has similar or the same panels like the um, Crystal. Um, yes, the answer is yes, right? The micro OLED of the Apple Vision Pro wins. Then in terms of the direct comparison with the Big Screen Beyond, also this wins because it has better lenses and better FOV and better resolution, right? So also this is, yeah, superior than Big Screen Beyond. Well, you would expect this for a price of $3,500, right? But yeah, this is good. However, and now the one big drawback of the Apple Vision Pro is that this is not connected with your PC via a display port cable. So you don't have that native visuals that you can get with the Big Screen Beyond and all the other headsets that I talked about. And display port always is simply better. So when I looked closer here and tried to read the text in the cockpit around the knobs, yes, I can read it as well, but I must very clearly say that I could read th those texts easier even on the Big Screen Beyond that had a lower resolution, a much lower resolution than this 4K per eye resolution of the Apple Vision Pro. And that's simply because in the end, still this is being um, compressed, the image, and then sent um, via Wi-Fi to the Apple Vision Pro and then decompressed. And then you do see that it's not as clear as it would be with a native display port. But I must say, like when you're looking out of the airplane here and you check out how Tokyo looks like or you check your, your, your wings and all these kind of things, you totally don't see that at all. You totally don't see that and it is beautiful. But for super small details, like um, small text, you will still see that the native display port visuals are simply better. For normal people, <laughs> probably that would still be fine though. And I could see people uh, AB comparing Big Screen Beyond versus Apple Vision Pro on a 4090 prefer the Apple Vision Pro simply because of the better lenses and also the better FOV and the better resolution. And here you can see it that I'm getting close to the original um, native resolution of the Apple Vision Pro here. Yep, so even streaming it 3500 something by 3200, so not exactly the resolution of the Apple Vision Pro, but getting closer to it and it shows. It is just looking so good here. I am so surprised that it works so well on the Apple Vision Pro. And in my opinion, it does become viable here for high-end flight simmers. Nice, very nice. I wish I had an affiliate link for you, but I don't. But still, this is good. I can tell you that. Yes, but the first company that comes out with a 4K micro OLED headset like the Apple Vision Pro that has a display port, that company is going to win. At least for the high-end PC VR fans that you are. 
if you're watching this video. I know you are. I know you want it. <laughs> we all want it. And hopefully this is going to happen at one point in time. But until then, the Apple Vision Pro it truly is a contender here. So we have to bring in the Apple Vision Pro into our dis discussions. Not discussions, discussions. <laughs> yeah, and I will do so. So you know what? I would like to know something from you. I would like to know how much money <laughs> would you be willing to spend for a PC VR only headset with a 4K micro OLED displays, just like the Apple Vision Pro, good lenses, eye tracking, and a display port. So a really enthusiast device made for you that is something like the Apple Vision Pro, but with display port. How much money would you be willing to pay? And it would have inside out tracking, so no need for base stations. Do let me know what kind of money would you pay for such a headset? Yes, that would be very interesting uh, for me to find out. So at the end of this video, as promised, here are my settings for ALVR. Simply copy those settings and then you will also have fantastic visuals in your Apple Vision Pro and it will feel like you're you're using the super latest headset made for PC VR, really. Again, it's not as good as DisplayPort for the super little details, but yeah, you will have a great um, visuals. For the 150 uh, Mbps, you could probably increase it, depends on your situation in your network, so simply try this out. For yourself yeah there might be uh, room for more but i did it here as i as you can tell so and that worked well probably you could even make it even better yeah and that's everything that i have for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it if yes give it a thumbs up do let me know in the comment section is the apple vision pro a contender for you are you thinking about getting it for this or do you want to wait until there is a DisplayPort headset that would give you this kind of um, hardware? Do let me know also how much you would be willing to pay for it. That's everything that I got for this video. Thumbs up. Don't forget it, of course. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And you know what? I'm looking forward to see the next one. Until then, bye-bye.